And now, search for recognition. When last we left young Dennis Milligan, he was busily looking into his YMCA mirror, uttering the same phrase over and over again. God, make me a star. God, make me a star. However, dear friends, the gods continued to dump on the young viral reporter, causing him to retain his cracking voice and persistent rumors of latent homosexuality. For years, Dennis lifted barges, toted bales, and said yes, sir, to anything that moved. All the time looking for that big break in broadcasting, he toiled under the watchful thumb of Bob Publicover, who continually dispatched Dennis to cover such newsworthy events as shit fights and bar mitzvahs. And then it came. One afternoon, while telling Bobby Leonard that if God had intended women to be newscaster, Walter Cronkite would have big tits. The phone rang. This was it, a job offer, a chance to be heard by many people while speaking into that phallic-shaped warm microphone. With the speed of Mexican water running through the digestive tract of an infant, Dennis jumped into his fuel-injected thalidomide-powered moped and sped off to his new job, that of informing the masses of the news they need to know. And so, friends, Search for Recognition has yet another happy ending, as young Dennis can now be heard broadcasting his message far and wide. Why, if you listen closely, you can hear him happily in the distance. This is Dennis Milligan. Attention, game art shoppers. Today at our snack bar, you can get our meatloaf delight complete with hot vegetable and roll for only 82 cents. This offer lasts only a <laughs>